many times in different uh, kinds of exercises, maybe listening comprehension activities, reading comprehension, or even when you're producing, when you're speaking, you have to either understand descriptions of different uh, charts, graphs, figures, or you have to describe those charts, graphs and diagrams. So we're going to have a quick look at some of the vocabulary that you can use if you need to describe this uh, information. This kind of chart uh, is called a bar graph because these are the different bars showing the, the data and figures. This particular one is called a line graph. And this one here, because it is pie-shaped, it looks like a pie and it is divided as if there were different portions or servings of a pie. It's called a pie chart. Then finally, uh, these are different diagrams, either a Venn diagram just a, a circle diagram, for instance. Suppose you have one of these charts or graphs or, or maybe an infographic with information uh, and you have to describe it orally or in writing. Uh, for example, if you have to describe it um, orally, you could say things such as, let me show you this bar graph, or if it's a presentation, for instance, let's turn to this diagram or, I'd like you to look at these charts. If you look at this graph, you will notice that, whatever. Let's have a look at this pie chart or at this line graph, for instance. If you look at this line chart, this line graph, you will understand. To illustrate my point, let's look at some charts. The diagram below shows the number of whatever, or shows the percentage of whatever it might be, or this bar graph illustrates. Uh, this particular word here can be either a noun or a verb. If it is a verb, bear in mind, you say, to increase, to increase. The price has increased. However, if it's a noun, you say, you talk about an increase in the number, an increase in the number of. So, to increase, an increase. There are different verbs that you can use um, in a very similar way to the verb increase. Uh, they mean roughly the same, roughly the same, there are slight differences. So instead of saying that the number of something has increased, you could use the verb rise, go up, and we'll discuss the difference here in a minute, go up, grow steadily, if it has been a regular growth. You could say, we can see an upward trend. There is a tendency upwards to go up. You can use the verb climb, either rocket or skyrocket. Both these verbs um, tend to be a bit informal. They're okay, they're correct, but they tend to be a bit informal. And they have the connotation that the, the rise has been really uh, quick, sudden, and, uh, and really sharp. And then you could also use the verb uh, boom or peak. There are other ways to, um, to use this verb and other synonyms you could use, um, such as push up, uh, saw, mount, for example, in the expression mounting pressure. Or you could say, for instance, that uh, the number of something, the amount, has doubled or trebled. So this would be twice or three times. So doubled, trebled, saw. And there are some adjectives you could, uh, you could use together with the noun, increase. So you could talk about a dramatic increase, a huge, a large, a marked increase, a massive increase, a sharp increase, significant, substantial, 
for instance. If you mean to say the opposite, that the number, the amount has gone down, you could use a uh, verb such as um, decrease, fall, go down, decline, drop, the number of the figure of whatever has dropped, to plunge, again, uh, like when you use the word rocket, or sky rocket, to plunge is to fall, uh, a fall, which is very dramatic, very sudden, so plunge, or to plummet, which is something very similar. Okay, now we're going to have a look at the difference between saying that um, the number has increased to or increased by. If you say something like uh, analysts expect the unemployment rate to rise to 7%, from 6.7% in November, it means that in November it was 67 And in January, for example, because it's going to rise, the figure will be 7%. So it will reach the figure of 7%. So when you say rise to or increase to or decrease to, you mean that the final result you get is this number, this figure. The same would happen here, for example, uh, if you say the unemployment uh, rate could rise to 9.1 from 7.7%. So it means it was 7.7, it's going to rise, and the final figure will be 9.1. There is another way of saying um, these increases or decreases. Um, so if you say, for example, the rate could rise by 3%, it means that it's going to be an extra 3% is going to rise. So imagine if it was, for example, 47%, if, you, if it's an extra 3%, it'll be 50%. So the figure has risen by 3%, an extra 3%. Or if you say, for example, that the school's graduation rate is expected to rise by 7%, so imagine, for example, that 50% of students graduated, if it's going to rise by 7%, instead of 50, it will be 57. So it will rise to 57%, which means it has risen by 7%. Some adjectives you could use to talk uh, about increasing or decreasing figures. You could use dramatic, sharp, or huge. These are uh, the most extreme adjectives. Then substantial, considerable, significant, or marked. Maybe it's a moderate increase or a gradual increase. Then it could be small or minimal if it's not really relevant. If you're going to use a verb, uh, then you would use an adverb to modify um, how much it has increased or decreased. So you would say it has increased dramatically Dramatically, sharply, suddenly, drastically, steeply, as in mountain. Because it is steep, it has uh, increased steeply, for instance. It may have um, increased or decreased substantially, considerably, significantly, noticeably, so you can tell, you can notice how much it has increased or decreased. It can have uh, increased steadily, little by little, or step by step, maybe moderately, gradually, or gently, or if it's not very noticeable, maybe it has increased slightly, just a little bit. 
If you want to express how quick uh, or how slowly these changes have taken place, um, you could use uh, the adjectives rapid, rapid, increase, quick, swift, sudden. If it has been uh, happening steadily, so you could talk about a steady increase of growth, gradual or a slow increase or decrease. If you don't know about the exact figure, uh, you would like maybe to express an approximate number, an approximate figure. So imagine that you say, for example, that uh, the rate is just under 20%. So probably it will be around 18 or 19%. If you say that it's just over 20%, if just over, it could be, for example, 21% or um, somewhere in the region of 20-21%. If you say the figure is well under 20%, probably it will be some, I don't know, 15-16% uh, or even uh, lower than that, maybe 14%. If you say it's well over 20%, it means uh, it can be, I don't know, 26%, something like that. You could say, you could use expressions uh, roughly, more or less, approximately, nearly, around or about. Or you could say an estimated 140 million. His fortune uh, is made up of an estimated 140 million. He has sold an estimated uh, 120 million albums all over the world. Finally, uh, your charts may indicate there has been no change whatsoever, no change at all, or roughly, uh, there haven't been any changes. So you could say that the figure has remained the same, or has remained constant, you could say uh, that the figure has stabilized or it has leveled off. So as you can see, there are plenty of ways to, to describe graphs, uh, data charts. Um, so uh, try and use different vocabulary that you could incorporate to show your range.